When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be young, gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. And when I go out, yeah I know I'm gonna be young, gonna be the man who goes along with you. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nathan Smith, here with Five Below, the fermentation or beer design group. The aim of our project was to encourage homebrewing growth by simplifying the hardships of the hobby, specifically the difficulty surrounding controlled temperature regulation during fermentation. The goals of our project was to create a low-cost kit that will allow a user to maintain a desired temperature throughout a fermentation that produces a beer of comparable characteristic to current methods. Along with this, the system shall be cut compatible with common household refrigerators with minimal user assembly. Here we go. Hi there, my name is Logan Sellers and I'm here to talk about the cooling aspects of our design. As you can see here, we have an HJ1542 uh, submersible pump that's in the cooling reservoir right here, which is just a plastic container right now. Um, the container holds about 65% water, 35% um, alcohol solution. That way it keeps um, our system from freezing up. Uh, the pump first pumps the water through the 3 8 inch tubing. Uh, as you can see right here, it's a two-way manifold, which is connected to three smaller tubes. That way we're capable of shutting our freezer door. Um, that way we don't have to modify our fridge to uh, our freezer to keep the door shut. And Fernando is now going to talk about the housing system, which is what the pump uh, pumps the water through. Here we go. Um, Wait, thanks, Logan. Today I'm going to talk about then the insulation material, which is a reflective insulation that can be found either at Home Depot or Menards, and it's around two inches thick, and any of them, no matter the R value of it, it works perfectly. Inside of here, you're probably able to see with a better shot, it's a, a cooling jacket. This cooling jacket was bought in, uh, at this company in California called Cool Zone, and this is where all, all, and where it's cooling the carboy, and at any specific temperature that the STC has set. Here we go. Alright, so the STC 1000 is the brains behind the entire operation after we flash it. Once we flash it from the user interface, which Alex will explain in a later portion, uh, we are able to measure the temperature from the carboy through this thermistor. And on the inside, we do some ADD conversions and allows the STC 1000 to turn on solid state relays in the back, which will power our 110 outlet in the back, allowing for the pump to turn on and off. Here we go. Our temperature profile creation tool allows the user to make six different profiles, save profiles and load profiles for later uses. It also allows a show all or clear function for ease of use. When the user is done updating the profiles, they can then go to the Arduino software in order to flash it to the Arduino Pro Mini, and therefore to the STC 1000. So guys, as you can see, this was our entire design, and it's up and running, and we hit all of our requirements, and we're still on our budget. At the same time, we want to thank Professor Flood, Professor Alfano for being our mentors throughout this two semesters and for making also this project a success. And thanks everybody, and I hope everything went well. See you next time. Thank you.